next of the Magura MT7s. If you're familiar with that, they're again also very similar. They're just is more about the technology that they've used within the pistons they've used. Um, but I'll kind of show you that in a sec. Um, but what I like about them, if I kind of try and get over here and zoom in a little bit, is this thing focusing? There you go. So what I like about these is a uh, like many brakes, uh, they're universal in terms of which side you put them. So you flip them over. You can use them left or right depending on where you're from. In the in the UK, we use our left for the uh, left brake for the rear, and we use our right for the front. That tends to be the standard. In the US, it's basically the opposite. Um, so that's great. Um, one of the things that I loved about this was uh, bleeding. Um, you know, when you cut, cut the hose, you obviously need to get some air out, get some new fluid in. I tell you what, you literally you literally take that nut off, put the um, well, yeah, she's pretty standard. You put the um, syringe in there. And instead of having the kind of the kind of bullshit episode when you have one at the front, one at the back, and you're cocking around, literally put the syringe on there, suck, push, suck, push, air comes out, put the cap back on, everyone's happy, and you're riding. Love that. Um, I think one or two other brakes do the same thing, but this has just been the been bloody flawless. So that's the front, great. Uh, levers are awesome. Um, at the back, oh, grandpa knees. So these are the pistons I was telling you about. So these, oh, try and balance, try and keep this steady. So these are the um, quad pistons, so four pistons, two on either side. So again, these are very much like, oh, these are basically identical to the MT7s. I think the, the only noticeable difference I could see was this, there was more kind of adjustment uh, on the actual levers themselves. By the looks of things, the calibers, calipers are pretty much the same. I'm sure there's some technology in vertical commas which is different, but I'm telling you what, these things are great. Um, so yeah, um, so far so good. Uh, the only thing which um, is worth noting is that, A, um, because the, the kind of surface area of the brake itself, so the cal calipers, because you've got a little piston, piston on either side here, rather than one of the small ones, you've got two small ones make it larger. The surface area is larger, which means aligning your brakes can be a, a little bit trickier. Uh, it takes a bit more kind of faffing around. Um, and the other thing that's is, is definitely worth noting is that these things have a huge amount of stopping power compared to your your uh, regular uh, dual piston um, calipers. These things have immense stopping power. So uh, I, it took me a couple of rides just to get used to them because you get a little bit too frisky on your front brake and you are hitting the dirt hard. Uh, I've had some near near incidents, so it's something worth being being aware of. But you know these things are fantastic. The, uh, the 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 power is fantastic. They're very simple to to install and get going. You know they, they, these can be a bit more fiddly, like I was saying, in terms of uh, lining up against the disc. But you know overall not that bad. Um, oh, getting back to the uh, the lever, yeah. Uh, so this is the, they come with standard uh, two finger levers. I tend to use just the one little. Um, but you know, I, I haven't actually, you know, I haven't actually, you know, I still use one finger, but I, I don't find that this is kind of catching my knuckles or that's, that it's in the way. You can get, uh, you can upgrade these to, to single uh, triggers, so I'm going to be doing that soon. But 